Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I was looking at today's earthquakes um, across the California, Oregon, um, Nevada, different locations, Salt Lake City. 213 earthquakes located in this location. And you notice here we got Clear Lake and we got Willits. When I lived there, there wasn't any earthquakes to mention. And I've talked about that before. 52 earthquakes in the area of Willits. Let me zoom into this location. You can see it all. The largest, I believe, in the last week was yesterday, a magnitude 3.2. 4.3 kilometers in depth, and 32 people reported feeling this earthquake. I think we have a large earthquake coming. We have a battle between the San Andreas Fault Zone that runs all the way up to the uh, Mendocino Triple Junction which takes up about 75% of the strain that's built up um, from the movement of the North American plate colliding with the Pacific plate. And then we got the Walker Fault Zone, which is a relatively new fault zone, which takes up about 25% of the strain of the plate motion. Scientists say they believe that the Walker Fault Zone, which runs all the way down to Southern California, where we, we've been having all these earthquakes along that area. Um, we got the Hayward Fault. And let's go down to Coso. And the Salton Sea. T scientists say that eventually, in millions of years probably, um, that fault zone, the Walker Fault Zone, will become the new beachfront property. And if you follow these recent earthquakes, that are along the Walker Fault Zone. Like I said, we got Coso. And the Fault Zone actually runs almost flat dab along um, Route 395. You will notice that all these recent earthquakes have been along the Walker Fault Zone. Down here at the Garlic Fault Zone, that's where the Walker Fault Zone inter intersects with the Garlic Fault Zone which is also a not, an, another locked zone that goes into the San Andreas Fault um, where pressure has built up. And you know about all the earthquakes that have been happening down there in Southern California. Yeah, I've marked a lot of them out. So it looks like the majority of these earthquakes lately, yeah, the Walker Fault Zone has been the one, there's 395, has been the one that's been throwing the punches and uh, which one's going to win? The San Andreas Fault Zone with a major earthquake or the Walker Fault Zone? See that? Now, the Walker Fault Zone is a relatively new fault zone that's uh, trying to gain dominance. Um, it's not completely broken up into one complete long stretch, but, you know, it is in a sense. It just hasn't made the appearance along um, the surface. Yeah, just think uh, Pyramid Lake might one day have beachfront property. Here we got the uh, Honey Lake Fracture Zone, which runs into the uh, north part of the Walker Lane fault system. Can you imagine a major rupture along the Walker Fault Zone? Like I said, eventually this is all going to be beachfront property. And they say that it follows along Route 395. And I'll bring it up. There it is, 395. Going all the way up to uh, Oregon. And then down over here, we got the uh, St. Andreas Fault Zone. So the question is, which fault zone is going to throw the next major punch for the major earthquake to relieve all this stress that has been building up between these two fault zones. Um, yeah, and, and this seismicity actually extends all the way over to Salt Lake City. So here we have all the earthquakes in the Willits area. And then the earthquakes for Idaho, um, up there by Yellowstone, Salt Lake City, there's uh, 269 earthquakes on this map in the last week. If I zoom into the Wasatch Fault Zone, 
and I've talked about the uh, hurricane fault zone where these other earthquakes have been happening. We got 75 in the last week. Yeah, one of them is going to give. One of those fault zones is going to give. Uh, will it be the San Andreas fault zone or will it be the Walker fault zone? What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.